Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to show you some of my favourite things in my wardrobe, some old, some new, but instead of just like showing you things in my wardrobe I thought it would be fun to show you like what I would wear to with lots of different, different scenarios and I was going to just come up with them myself but then I thought it would be really fun to get you guys involved so I asked on Instagram stories last night to kind of give me a scenario and then I'll show you what I would wear and just as like a big disclaimer, this is not me saying this is what you should wear to this scenario. This is just what I would wear. And we all know I prefer to be underdressed than overdressed. I choose comfort over anything else. I get public transport most places. So just bear that in mind. I'm not like a super dressy person. And I'm, yeah, I'm more than happy to just be like the person who represents normal everyday dressing on the internet. So don't expect anything to out there but I'm really happy with my like spring wardrobe at the moment I've got some really nice stuff in my wardrobe and I wanted to show you just like the outfits that I'm enjoying wearing at the moment I'm gonna go onto Instagram and check through some of these like scenarios actually George is here so I'm gonna get her to read them out to me and then I'll go downstairs and get dressed and then I'll come back up and show you guys <laughs> okay George has got my phone it's totally up to you where am I going first thing that you're going to is a family barbecue Okay, family barbecue. I'm gonna pretend it's sunny, because it's sunny when you have a barbecue. You know, you just wanna be comfortable, you're gonna be eating food, it's gonna be warm. Okay, I think I've got an idea. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, well, she's joining me. <laughs> okay. Wait, this feels really funny. <laughs> Let me show you properly. Okay, so this shirt, where well, I'm gonna take this off, it feels weird wearing them inside. This shirt is from Arquette and I've had it since last year. It's a linen short sleeve shirt. I love it, I've been wearing it. I wore it with like linen trousers and all different things. And then I saw that this year, they've got these linen shorts in, in exactly the same color. So I bought them and I love them and they're slightly longer. Also, bear in mind, I have not faked hand or anything. I'm really not prepared for this, but they're slightly longer. They've got stretchy waistband. They're really comfortable. Got them on with my Hush sandals from last year, Ray-Bans. This bag, I always get questions about it. I think it's from, oh, it's from the White Company. I thought it was from Next, but it's from the White Company. I put, I put on a white vest top underneath because I thought I could also maybe wear this like untucked and undone. I don't know, I haven't tested this theory. Yeah, that's like a little bit more of like a casual look. I like that. It's very, very comfortable. Stretchy, lots of barbecue eating going on. What do we think? Happy with that one? Very happy with this one. Did I, I meet like the it. brief? You did. Okay, <laughs> what's next? Okay, your next one is Wimbledon. Okay, Wimbledon. I'm actually going to Wimbledon this year. You need to be comfortable and also it can be really sunny and it's like you know, a lot of people get burned at Wimbledon, so I don't want to have like my shoulders out. There's a lot of sitting. Okay, I think I've got a good idea. I'm gonna take these with me. <laughs> okay, I feel like I nailed the brief. This feels quite Wimbledon. This dress is from Nobody's Child. It has pockets, which I know is the question everyone wants to know the answer to. It's quite low, I need to get a different bra. I haven't got a good bra situation. My bras are all quite high in the middle, but I just feel like it's a really flattering shape. This bag is from, I feel like it's from like Topshop or something. Really random, like I've had it forever. Topshop. Uh, sandals are white company, really comfortable in case I'm getting the tube there. I feel like my shoulders are covered. Can't get too burnt. I'll make sure I put sun cream here. Um, and then these sunglasses are from Gemma Styles sunglasses collection. I feel like the lighter colour, a lot of my sunglasses are black. I feel like the lighter colour goes nicely with like the lighter colours of the outfit. Yeah, this feels, I feel like this is what I'll wear when I go to Wimbledon this summer. There you go. You've nailed this one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Ready to watch some tennis. Next up, you are going to Grey's first day of school. Grey's first day of school? Yeah, big occasion. Is that a thing? Do I have to like think about what I'm wearing on Grey's first day of school? Oh my God, I have no idea. Why is it because like the other parents are gonna be like, ooh. <gasps> Wait, okay, so you need to be like casual, you don't want to look like you've made an effort, but obviously you don't want to like rock up in your pyjamas on the first day, because that really like sets the, <laughs> the tone, doesn't it? You don't want to look like you've like rushed out the house and you're late and you've already missed the first day. <sighs> okay, this one might take a while. Wait, is it hot? September. Oh yeah. Could be. I feel like it's still hot in September. Yeah. I also think that your style of dressing is the perfect style of dressing for this day. Really? Yeah. 
Okay. Like the perfect mix of like put together outfit, not too smart, not too casual. Thanks, no pressure. I'll be back. Okay. Right, it's Grey's first day at school. Wait, 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 I need to tie my hair up because I don't want to look like I've made an effort and like made a video where I'm planning what I'm wearing for Grey's first day of school. <laughs> Trousers are, again, nobody's child. I feel like it's a good alternative to jeans. They're kind of that combat style, but they're like a bluey grey stripe. A bit baggy. They're like casual, but not jeans. I've got my Adidas Sambas, and then this is an Arquette t-shirt. It's like the slightly thicker, more structured one. Of course, my Uniqlo shoulder bag which looks very like i've just thrown this on got my sunglasses it's just t-shirt and trousers right that's like casual i'm just like dropping the kids at school maybe i'll have like minimal makeup on so i don't look like i've made an effort <laughs> <laughs> what do we think i feel like this is yeah all right i, I like it this is giving not a regular mom a cool mom <laughs> oh god wait i don't is that a good <laughs> no, thing, I'm joking, bad thing no this is good this is just yeah. like yeah okay the perfect Mix of effort, no effort. <laughs> so much effort. <laughs> Next up is a summer wedding. A summer wedding. I've got a summer wedding and I ordered a dress from Oliver Bonus and then didn't try it on for ages. Went past the 30 days, tried it on and was like, I do like it, but I don't know if it's like wedding. I don't know. I'll try it on and show you guys. I haven't planned what shoes or bag or anything I'm wearing with it. Also, two things to note, it's a casual summer wedding, so like, I know some people when I try on wedding outfits are like, I would never wear that to a wedding, it's not like black tie or anything. And I'm just going to the evening part, which is crucial because everyone will be drunk when I get there, no one will care what I'm wearing. So, bear those two things in mind. Okay, ignore the bag. Okay. This is the dress, okay, this is the dress from Oliver Bonus. And I've tried tying it at the back, like loads of you on Instagram said I should do, which I think is definitely better. I like, I like the shape and I like the colours. It's very like summer, wedding. I mean, you could like dress this down or dress it up. I think the shoes work. I got a lot of comments on Instagram saying the shoes didn't work, but I think they're fine. They're just like nothingy. You know, I feel like the dress does the shouting, so you don't need... Like these shoes come in green, but that would be a bit much, right? I just don't know what bag I would wear. I think all my bags are like quite dark, like I've got this one, but one, this just really doesn't feel like me anymore. This, I don't know. It just suddenly makes it a bit too like wedding me for me. Like if I wear it like this, it makes me feel a bit better, but it's just not the one, is it? I don't really have like a light coloured evening bag. Do I need a bag? Like what do I need on me? My phone and lipstick? Yeah. But do I look a bit weird without a bag? <laughs> Maybe I should get like a little rattan clutch. That would look nice. I was gonna say you need like a pale colour, a rattan or like a beige strawberry, yeah. Like maybe a whistles clutch. I've got one in green, but again, that's gonna be a bit much. But uh, what do you think? I like it. Yeah? I really like it, love the sleeves. I love the sleeves. This, like, you can undo this, but I quite like that neckline on me. Yeah, and like, I think my hair kind of behind. Can I dance in it? Celebrate <laughs> good times, come on. I don't think I'm gonna have that song, it's not your vibe. <laughs> Okay. What's the green bag? It's like a little green clutch. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, I actually okay. do. Green bag. Oh, that's quite fun. I'm all for a pop of colour. Yeah? I quite like that. I it's think if you don't it. if you don't find something, green bag's good backup. Yeah, it is kind of fun. Mm. Right, <laughs> what are we doing? What's next? Next, you are off to a food festival. A food festival? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so bottoms need to be stretchy. Big time. Comfy shoes, lots of walking. The weather is a slightly windy summer's day, so it's like gonna be a bit warm, but also a bit windy. Just to add something else in there for you. Yeah, tricky UK weather. Like, yeah. I think it's gonna be a summer's day, but when you're not in the sun, when you're in the shade, Exactly. It's ca quite cold. Well, my kids will be in the perfect outfits with all the layers they need, and I'll be <laughs> probably too cold. <laughs> Are you actually ready for this one? <laughs> First thing I need to address is I know I'm gonna spill ketchup on myself, okay? I'm gonna be eating a burger and I'm gonna spill ketchup on my beige trousers. I think it's worth it. I'm gonna be careful. My kids are a little bit older now. Like I feel like I can kind of get away with it. I'll be with Rich. It's not like I'm going on my own. I, you know, it's linen, it's fine, it will wash. Okay, this is my thought process. A hat, because it's gonna be sunny. I can always take it off. In fact, I'm gonna take it off now. 
big bag so I can throw in like a blanket, all the stuff I need for the kids, like everything can just go in there. This bag's from What the Brand and it's a nice kind of like rattan, I call everything rattan, I don't think it's rattan, I don't know what it is, like a rope. Mm -hmm. But it's got a nice leather handle which makes it a bit kind of sturdier. Everything's Arquette. Arquette linen trousers, Arquette linen shirt, both from last year, but with the new addition of this bright green vest top. I have this vest top in white and black and green for a little like pop of colour and I feel like that makes this outfit a little bit less boring, a bit more summery and fun. And then trainers. Yes, it might be a bit hot in the sun, but I want to be comfortable. I'm going to be getting the tube there, I'm going to be doing lots of walking. And a nice like stretchy waistline. Yeah, wait, did I have sunglasses? Oh, I forgot them downstairs. Sunglasses, imagine sunglasses as well, yeah? I like, like this. Do they do good? Yeah, I like this. My face. Good layers for the weather as well. Layers, like, it's hot, I'm gonna take this off. I can like wrap it around my waist. I can like throw it on the kids. I don't know why I would do that, mm. but you know. Protect them. Protect the them. Yeah. Okay, next up, you're going to a Michelin star restaurant in Paris. In Paris? Okay, Michelin star restaurants, it's gonna be fancy. Oh god, this is like my, my worst. When, it, when I know people are going to be dressed up, I get very stressed. Don't want to be overdressed, don't want to be underdressed. Need to be comfortable. In Paris, everyone's like understated cool. They're like wearing no makeup, but they have red lipstick on. I don't want to put red, please don't make me put red lipstick you on. You don't right have now. to. Okay. Summer's evening? Yes. Definitely the hardest one by far. Um, and I changed my mind a couple of times. Okay, so I've gone for black accessories. I've got my Celine sunglasses and my Chanel bag. Imagine my hair was actually properly done because I haven't really done it properly. I've just put it in like a quick low bun. Okay, let me talk you through the rest of the outfit. So the blazer is Arquette and the top I'm wearing underneath is And Other Stories. These are the Shaw jeans from Arquette. So they're meant to be kind of low rise, but I just size down and I just wear them where I can feel comfortable in this nice kind of like off-white colour and the shoes are also Arquette loafers which I'm too scared to wear, I haven't worn them out yet because I just know that my toe is going to make a massive hole in them. <gasps> I can already feel it happening, I'm so upset. I hate my toes. But they look really nice. <laughs> so special occasions only. I've kind of just gone for like a tonal, everything's kind of cream and off-white apart from the accessories. I don't know, does it work? It's very chic, I like it. Yeah, maybe, maybe a red lip, I'm not sure, maybe it doesn't need it. Maybe a red lip would be too much. Yeah, no, I like it. Okay, there you go. Whew, that one was hard. <laughs> Next, you are going to the park with toddlers on a summer's day. Park, toddlers, summer's day. Yeah. Okay, I know, I know. I've got this one. Am I going to the park with kids or am I going on safari? <laughs> you decide. <laughs> I do kind of look like I'm going on safari, but I'm very comfortable. I'm wearing comfortable sandals. These are old from Mango, although when I get hot, they really squeak when I walk, which is really embarrassing. This set is so comfortable. It's from What The Brand. I love that the shape of the arms and stuff is a bit different. It's like a back wing, it's very loose, very comfortable. The shorts are super stretchy. And obviously my Uniqlo bag, my hair is up so I can just like deal with the kids, not get too hot, not get too flustered. Yeah, I feel good, I feel good in this outfit. Like it? Love this, yeah, very practical. Yay. Okay, okay, next up, you are going to the ABBA show. Oh my God, I'm actually going to the ABBA show. I'm going for my sister's birthday in July. Oh my God, what am I gonna wear? Okay, well it's gonna be hot, but I wanna look like fun. I would, people do dress up a bit. Do they? Like my, not full fancy dress, but like within the vibe. All my fun outfits are quite wintry. Like my sleeper mm. set, sequin top, two winter vibes. I also want to be able to dance. Oh man, I don't know if I could do this one. I'll try. Oopsie! Wait, I feel like everything needs an explanation first before you see me. <laughs> okay, wait. Don't look, don't judge yet, okay? This top I got from Suzanne ages ago and I haven't worn it yet because I'm just not sure. It's giving bin bag vibes, okay? So I bought, I bought an alternative to try on just in case. This is the top. It's very like bin bag-esque, right? A little bit, but it's quite fun. I thought it's kind of maybe a little bit aberish, but like with these and other stories trousers and Suzanne sandals. I just don't know, and I grabbed my Uniqlo bag because I thought, it, it, you know, it's not a bag I mind like chucking on the floor if I wanted to do some dancing. I could just wear it like that. On the way there, we'll be getting the tube. I can just wear it like that. It's pretty safe. It's not like a bag I care that much about, although I love it. I don't know. It's just a bit weird, isn't it? Shall I show you my other option? I do like that. 
But I love, I love a sparkle. Yeah, so. you do love a sparkle. Okay, wait, don't look. Um, this is the other option. This tops from Nobody's Child. Sorry, I just love everything they have in at the moment. Um, this is not so much going with the ABBA theme. This is just like nice night out outfit. Kind of like this because it's like a little bit like a cardigan, but it's a top. But I like this outfit just like as an outfit. Yeah, that's a more you outfit. Yeah. But I think you can have more fun for ABBA. Okay, well, I did really good. I, did, I didn't nail this one, guys. Um, <laughs> let me know if you've been to see ABBA Voyage, what did you wear? Is my hair crazy while I'm talking to you? Um, yeah, let me know. Like, how dressed up are people at ABBA? I want to know. There is a denim jumpsuit I have my eye on. I still haven't bought a denim jumpsuit. Remember when I showed you guys all the different options? I haven't bought one yet. The Levi's one is really nice with short sleeves. I'm just like trying to decide whether I want to buy it. I'm trying to find it on Vinted. I really want to get it second hand, but I can't find one anywhere. So anyway, that would be good, I think, for ABBA. Right, what's next? Brunch with friends. Brunch with friends. I don't remember the last time I had brunch with my friends. That sounds like the dream. Brunch with friends on a summery... Day. Wait, it's summery, but it's really hot. Really hot? Really, really hot. I've already done both of my linen sets. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be very happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> I did listen to you, but I'm also not listening to you. Okay, look, people wear black in summer, okay? I know it's black, but it's really thin and lightweight and so comfortable. This is from Arquette. It's actually very, like, breezy, you know? <laughs> if it's hot and you're a bit, like, sweaty, this is actually the one, okay? I, d I don't need convincing. <laughs> I think this is a great outfit. It's kind of, like, chic. I'm really obsessed with these new sandals. They just are the perfect addition to my wardrobe. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's breezy, airy, summery. I like the pop of colour with the green bag. Simple. I'm ready for brunch. Yeah, no, I fully agree. Yeah? Okay. yeah? I think people are going to be like, that is not summery, it's black, but, you know, we wear black in summer too. Yeah. Next up, uh, you're going to a bar mitzvah. I'm actually going to a bat mitzvah this weekend, and I have no idea what to wear because I've only ever been to them as a 13-year-old girl. Like, I went to loads when I was a teenager, and as a teenager, you just wear a Tammy girl dress, obviously. Um, <laughs> uh, I know exactly what to wear as a teenager, but I don't know what grown-ups, what adults wear at bat mitzvahs. Is it like formal affair or...? I don't know, like the family get quite dressed up. Actually, I am family in this case, but not like immediate family. Here's the brief. It might be kind of warmish, but you go to synagogues during the day, you have to have your shoulders covered and like, you're neat, like, respectful. And then you go to the party which I think is more casual. I'm going with Jess Grey, so I need to be like, able to like kind of run around a bit after her, but not too much. I think I know what, I think I know what I'm gonna wear. Let me try. Okay, Rudy's now going to sleep, so I'm gonna have to lower my shouting levels. So it starts at like four. So I think even though it's quite a warm day, I might be all right in this. Hopefully I won't be too hot. But I haven't worn it yet, and I got it from Amber the Stories, and I really have wanted to wear it for ages. I think it's the perfect vibe. It might be a bit hot, <laughs> but it's kind of thin actually, so... Yeah, no, I was going to say I think you'll be fine. Oh yeah, I think I'll be fine. I think it's a good, smart, casual option. The same and other stories. Heels I had on earlier, and then I'm going to take with me, because I'm driving, I'm going to take these, and I can change into them if we're doing lots of dancing, and I don't want to be in heels. They're kind of chunky for this outfit, but I think it kind of works. To be honest, I could probably wear these the whole time if I decide on the day that no one cares what shoes I'm wearing. Um, yeah, I think this is a good bat mitzvah option. How many more do we have? I like it, we only have one more. <gasps> okay, your final one is that you are going to a theatre show. Okay, I feel like non-Londoners get quite dressed up for the theatre because they're like coming to London, they're going for dinner, they're going to the theatre, it's like a whole event. To be honest, when I go to the theatre, I don't dress up that much. I just want to be comfortable because you're sitting down for quite a long time. This is the thought process, okay? Trousers are all kept, and in the end I went for my Adidas Samba trainers. I tried on a few like sandly loafers, but they didn't feel right. I felt like a trainer was a good comfortable option, getting public transport there, kind of a bit more casual with the like smart trouser. White vest top if you go for dinner first and it's quite warm, and then layers because it can get a little bit chilly in the theatre. So this is just a Cezanne cardigan and I really like the blue with the beige. I like the kind of lighter 
colours together. And then also this Cezanne bag. Haven't shown this yet in this video and I think the brown is nicer than like a black option because I'm not really wearing any black in this outfit. So yeah, that's my like, what, what am I going to see? I was going to ask you that question. This doesn't feel like a Matilda Lion King with the kids situation. I feel like I would be way more cash for yeah. like a matinee. This is like going with my mum to see something really random that she's read a review on and she <laughs> thinks that we should go and see. And I'm sure it was great. I like it. Are we done? We're done. Oh my gosh. That, how many outfits was that? 10? 10 or 11? I should have taken photos, you know what? Because I've been trying to take photos of outfits and save them to a folder on my phone so when I don't know what to wear every day I've got like those to reference. Actually a really good tip, it's been really helpful for me. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will link everything that I can down below, anything that's like new and actually in stock and maybe I'll try to link some alternatives as well. That's kind of like my spring wardrobe, what I would wear too. Thanks for participating. I'm gonna leave it there and I'll see you guys in my next video.